Baby. What? Should I? Look, no, I can explain why. I can explain. Why are you talking about it? What are you talking about? What the heck is that? George, why am I stopped? Oh, and then they steal the devices. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, wow. Don't get you, don't get you, don't get you. What? I remember clearly his symptoms started when he was under a lot of pressure at work. His company was undergoing some sort of transformation. George has always been buoyant, energetic, decisive. He hardly saw us. We hardly spent any time together. So he was working around the clock. And um, the kids even nicknamed him Uncle George. Even Roxy didn't recognize him. George used to enjoy my morning cup of coffee. And now this. She really does make the best cup of coffee. So this came as a complete shock. And when he was home, he was uh, a little distant. Unresponsive, like in a kind of paralysis, really. So. And then came his obsessions. Mashed potato clouds. <laughs> potato clouds? The picture frame. It was something that's just clearly on his mind and I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from, but it's obviously having an impact on the family. I saw George very early on. We ran some tests and well, I mean, we checked everything. I was going to suggest some kind of medication, but I, I know you don't want to go there. And I can confidently state that physiologically and mentally, there's nothing wrong with him. And then came his lock everything up stage. I mean, something as simple as, I want to get cutlery so I can set the dinner table. And then this, everything was locked. Doors, drawers, cupboards. Oh, his key collection. His key collection. Picture free. And he started acting very shit. Mom, Mom, he's up the tree again. What? I mean, he would go away to work in very strange places. George? Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. As you can see. Thank you. And would leave all of these devices everywhere. Picture frame. I mean, seriously, what's up with the devices? All interconnected. Around about the same time, George asked me to order a few thousand multicolored bouncy balls. He often buys toys for his kids, so I didn't think much of it. Picture frame. Until he gathered all the bouncy balls into a big container, and then he started working on some kind of release mechanism and... Hey, th th um, this is like off the record. I'm, I, I'm just checking, right? It's off the record, right? Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Sure. Um, we, were, we were really worried because George was, you know, just to say the least, he was like all over the place. We don't know what's going on with him. And we're really worried about that because what does it mean? Concerned. I'm concerned about George. I'm concerned about Legacy. We've got all these old servers. I mean, what does it mean? What, what is it with all these bouncy balls and stuff? What is it with that? And and that 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 picture frame? What, like was that a memo that I missed? One day, these wonderful people arrived at the office. They'd apparently heard of George's symptoms and came to have a solution for his problems. They probably found my Facebook page and some of the other social media accounts that I set up just trying to find some sort of support. Like any help really. 
then suddenly it happened. This glow, heavenly light coming from the office, the colors, the sounds, almost like a heavenly choir. I rushed into the office and there it was. George was laughing, punching the air in delight. He was back. Oh, George was back. Yes, I was finally back. Back to life. After what seemed like a lifetime of agony, of damned if I do and damned if I don't. You know, a constant threat of do or die. Because I was simply losing all control. I was reactive. I was searching for answers. It, it seemed like an impossible dream. A dream to, to see it all at once. Single pain. You. Uh, regain control, reduce costs, increase security, simplify my world. <laughs> I longed to find a way to be proactive. And deep down, I knew, no, I truly believed that there had to be a solution to it all. A way out of this madness, a way to regain control of all this new technology, to effectively utilize data and AI and automation to foster a merging of legacy systems and new tech. I was searching for a way to adapt to how people want to work in the future and create collaboration and increased productivity. I was, I was searching for a way to protect it all to keep us safe from those dark forces how bent on breaching our security and, and messing with our very livelihood. The colors in your pen Control the world and you and then Because I knew there had to be a simpler way to set me free. You know, to, to, to allow me to do the things that I really needed to be doing. Forgetting all the madness. Focusing on all the opportunities that the future holds. Embarking on the journey of discovery of what comes next. And I was right. Yes, you were, honey. Yes, you were. Yes, I was. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> yeah, your baby was right. <laughs> I wasn't yes, crazy. Of course he was. I told you I wasn't crazy. Yeah. Just, I know. Just I trust know. me next time. You can't see it. Yeah. You fly above the houses far away.